Hello. What do you mean you were getting ready for bed? Don't leave me already. Hello, family. Hello. Can you guys hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. It's gonna be a very quiet video if y'all can't hear me. Hey, what's up, girls? See, I don't know, it's our little Manny family. I love it. I love it you guys are here too. Hi, what's up guys? I have so, hey! <laughs> Hi guys, I'm so excited for this video. You have no idea. I have been dying to do this video, dying. I have so many things that I gotta talk to you guys. This might be a long live. Hey guys, um, I, I don't know. I'm gonna jam a lot of stuff into this video. Are you excited? I'm excited. Hey guys. Eee! <laughs> okay, um, I have so many things that I wanna talk to you guys about in this video, but the first thing I wanna talk to you guys about is this. I really, really wanted to just say thank you guys so much for helping me save some fur friends. I wanted to let you guys know, I was talking to CJ earlier from Candy Skincare. We have raised just shy of 600 bucks for the shelter and I am like over the moon. I can't believe you guys came through for me like that and just wanna say that I love you guys so much and thank you so, so, so much for just helping me and a great cause. So that one's for you guys. Also, I know it's insane. Okay, so I'm gonna put this away for a minute. Oh, for you guys that haven't seen this, um, proceeds from this cuticle oil by Candy Skincare Hot Mess Marla do go to my local Humane Society. When this video is done being live and I can edit the description box, I'll leave everything down here for you guys in case you wanna pick it up. All right, on my nails. So I'm sure you guys are gonna wonder what's on my nails. Hey guys, I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, these videos you will see coming up. I just did some encapsulated foil flakies on this one and this is a review video. Uh, I will spoil you a little bit and tell you it is OPI bubble bath in dip powder form, which is like my favorite polish ever. So I was so excited I found it in zip form. So that's what I did here. Uh, no, it's not 24 karat. This is not eye gel. They're actually like loose foil flakes that I had to rip apart, but we're gonna get into all the eye gel stuff in a little bit. I know that's probably why you guys are here, but before we do that, <laughs> we're gonna, I'm gonna introduce you guys to the 10K giveaway prize right now. And it is tremendous, tremendous. Um, I don't know if you can gauge the scale of this gigantic box, but I'm going to fill this giant box with a whole lot of stuff, including an LED UV that I got from Model Ones. So you're gonna get that, whoever wins, one winner for the 10K giveaway. I've got an e-file that's gonna go in this box. The last giveaway winner did get announced. They already claimed their prizes. I will always keep you guys posted about that. Uh, I got some gels from Model Ones. I picked up two of Model Ones mystery boxes. So one of them is for me to demo and one of them is for you guys. So you're gonna get the gels. I have so much stuff. I'm gonna try and go through it quickly. Um, this one is Hot Mess Marla. You will be getting a Hot Mess Marla cuticle oil along with a menagerie of cuticle oil pens and one of my other favorite scents, which is Trap Away, and it comes in this, I'm gonna take it out for you guys. I put it in here. You can take it off if you want to, when you, if you win, when you win. It's this cute little keychain, and it's like a little sleeve you can put your bottle of oil in, so that's gonna be in the giveaway box. Y'all, I'm, I'm not even close. I have so much stuff. So all that, all the cuticle candy stuff is gonna be in there. Also have, there are definitely some eye gel beauty colors. One, two, I have a third one in here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so a few of my favorite eye gel beauty colors. This one is the Baja Blue. It's like my favorite color in the whole wide world. I'm so excited about this one. Um, this one is the Palace, which is a gold glitter. It is absolutely stunning. And then Seashell, 
Um, I will send, I'll put up on Instagram maybe pictures of a mani I did with seashell. It's hands down like one of my favorite nudes. So you'll get those three eye gel colors along with a eye gel beauty dip case. You can do like French in here or marble in here, or if you want to dip right in here, you can do that too. So you're going to get all the eye gel beauty stuff, but wait, there's more. <laughs> I've got a candy skincare accessory bag, holographic or iridescent baggie from Candy Skincare also. I also have peel off base coat. I've got a menagerie of brushes for you guys, dust brush, ombre brush. You're gonna get a bottle of triple vitamin base. You're also, okay, so you guys haven't seen a video I'm gonna talk about here, but Virgo and Gem, I don't know if you guys have heard of these guys yet, but this is my new favorite base coat. I know, I can't believe I'm saying it. Thank you guys so much. I am sorry, I, don't, I wanna read all your comments, <laughs> and I will, um, but I really wanna tell you what's in this box. So you're gonna get these two bases, the Peel Off Base Coat. You're gonna get the Mia Secret Prep that I love so much. I have this in here is Cuticle Softener from Sparkle & Co. Basically, this giveaway is everything you could possibly want to do your nails forever. This is um, foil adhesive, but it's non-gel, so you can use it if you don't like gel polish and stuff like that. I have, this is like my favorite things box. Okay, so London Blue Dreams has been one of my favorite foil dips forever. So you're gonna get London Blue Dreams. This is Tiara from Revel Nail. You're gonna get it. This is such a gorgeous glitter. It's like, I don't know, a party in a jar. There are so many colors in here. I have more. <laughs> okay, I have, ooh, Wallflower. This was in the spring drop, so I don't know if you guys got it or not, but this was one of the, I got two of them, I think. So here's another one. Here's one from Peppy. This is Peppy Paradise, rose gold, chunky glitter. Um, I did a video for Peppy Gel where I used this glitter in a glitter placement and it came out so gorgeous. So you're gonna get those. I'm almost done. I'm getting to the bottom of the box. I promise. Some of my all time favorite things. Emily has been one of my favorite whites by Revel. It's like this white, but it's got like a pinky undertone to it. So I've got Emily for you guys. This, okay, I don't know if you guys saw this or not. This is one of my go-to fall colors. I have two of them. This was from the advent calendar that Revel did. So it's a nice, deep, dark, like burgundy color. I'm gonna throw that in there for you guys as well. Almost there. Getting there. Cream of the crop. You guys probably have heard me say it a million times that this is one of my favorite nudes ever. So I've got one of my favorite nudes for you guys. Okay, this is Isadora. You guys know how I feel about the hollow. I am obsessed with Isadora, so I got a jar for you guys. One of my favorite blacks. Thank you guys so much. I, it's so hard to read your comments when I'm trying to talk, but I, I love you guys, I really do. Um, Barbara is one of my favorite blacks ever, so I got Barbara for you guys. And my favorite things list wouldn't be complete without Storm Clouds by Panda Dips. This is one of my all time favorite colors ever. It's like this perfect blue gray color. It's so darn gorgeous, especially matte. You guys are gonna love this one if you haven't tried it yet. And I have a couple more things. This came in the Model Ones mystery box. It's pretty much like a whole little prep kit. There are toe separators, removal, like uh, alcohol pads, I think, or removal stuff, you know, if you wanna soak your nails off. Uh, it's got brushes and files and cuticle stuff. So you're gonna get this whole thing. The clippers, cuticle pusher, there's so much stuff in here. So you're gonna get this. <laughs> the fairy nail mother. <laughs> That's the cutest thing I've ever heard in my life. Barbie is one of my favorite colors from Peppy Gel. Just look at that. It's pink glitter. What more could you ask for? So you're gonna get a Barbie and Elsa, which is one of my favorite colors from Revel. It's got foils, it's got flakies. It's seriously so stunning. Okay, I think 
I do have some other stuff that I'm gonna put in here, believe it or not, but I wanted to leave some things a surprise. So I'm gonna get all my stuff back in the box. <laughs> I get my big box out of the way so we can start chit-chatting and swatching. Um, yeah, there's so much stuff. Thank you guys so much. I can't believe I hit 10K. I really can't. I can't believe it. And it's, it's you guys. You guys got me here. And I feel like it's a family effort, you know? It's like, I didn't hit 10K, we hit 10K. And I'm so thankful for you guys. And honestly, I've probably told you guys, a bunch of you guys this in the past, if you like hit me up on DM or email or whatever, but I really feel honored to be a part of y'all's nail journey. It's, it's just nice to be let in like that. And I, I don't take it for granted. Trust me when I tell you that I appreciate each and every one of you, and I really do. So that's the giveaway. Any thoughts? <laughs> I threw a lot at you. <laughs> that's the giveaway. All right, I'm gonna have some wine. Um, I don't know if you guys are drinking with me. I am drinking. Um, I've got my favorite wine, since it's my favorite things type video. I have Conundrum, which is my favorite red wine. It's like a red blend for if you guys haven't tried Conundrum yet and you like red blends, you might love this. Cheers. <laughs> All right, we're going to get into swatches, and you guys asked me a bunch of questions, and I put them down. They're not in any particular order, but we're going to play like 21 questions, and I'm going to answer a bunch of your stuff. I have some good questions in here. I'm so excited to answer them. I'm taking a drink of wine. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, I'm just going to make myself a little room. Stand by. Oh, yeah, I'm these giant boxes. And make room for one other giant box. <sighs> All right, I've got a giant box. I'm just gonna start taking colors out and we're gonna just swatch them and see what happens. Um, I know actually one of the questions on the list that you guys gave me, Captain and Coke, cheers girl. Um, was how do I swatch? And that's a great question. And I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how I swatch. I'm gonna use my Tomika top coat. I don't know if you guys know or not, but top and base are pretty much the same. So I'm gonna use the top coat since I really don't use top coats anyway. And then I've got my activator from Dipwell that I'm gonna use. I try to like use up a lot of the stuff that I get. Uh, I think one of you may have asked me a while ago what I do with like all the stuff. I have tried the eye gel liquids. Um, the base is great. You know, like I like the formula as base. I don't like the top coat. I don't know why, I just don't. Oh, you guys got some good drinks. I feel like boring over here with my glass of wine. All right, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna start swatching. Finally, I know, I'm gonna take forever. You guys are the sweetest. Seriously, the sweetest. Now, if I can get these things open, that'll be miraculous. Vanilla Crown and Pepsi, that sounds so good. All right, this is, this is Material Girl. And I don't know how it's coming across on film. It looks like salmon-y when I look at it in the viewfinder on my phone, but it's definitely more of like a pinky color, I don't know. We're gonna swatch it and see what happens. So this is how I swatch. I don't prep my swatches at all. They're just swatches. I don't really care. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with my base. Dip, tap, and I'll let it sit there for a minute just to dry. Tamika is a little bit thicker on the thicker side and it can take a little bit longer to dry. I got to find a brush. Where's my brush? There it is. Apple martinis. I wish I could get down with apple martinis. I don't know what, I think it's too sweet for me. I like my stuff bitter, just like me. Just kidding, maybe. So I'm going in with my second coat. All right, second coat in. Let it just sit there for a minute. And then I'm gonna activate and I'm going to top coat with gel top coat. Literally how I do all my swatches. Ooh, Bloody Mary sounds good. I'm gonna take another sip of wine. All right, so now I'm gonna dust off excess. I'm gonna close that so I don't get that anywhere. 
I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but okay, so I got a relatively big haul of, you know, dip powder. Some of them are flat top, right? And then some of them are like dome topped with the raised emblem. Did you guys get the same thing? I don't know if they're like repackaging their stuff, but. Ooh, where's my Sharpie? There's my Sharpie. Okay, good, glad it's not just me. So this one was Material Girl, I-G-B. I don't know why I wrote the name, I usually just write the number, but that's fine. So now I'm gonna go ahead and top coat with, this is my usual like swatch top coat, it's gel top coat. I don't know why, I don't like it on nails for some reason, it's like very thick and it does yellow in sunlight, so I use it only for swatches. That works fine. My swatches don't see the light of day. So that's that one, Material Girl. I'm gonna go ahead and cure. Let's do a 60 second cure on that. All right, one down, 436 to go. Just kidding. It's not that much. All right, so I'm going to start answering some of the questions that you guys were asking me. <laughs> Starting with, uh, I got one of you guys that asked me, I, how many did I get? I think I got in this haul, I got 34 dips, but I know three of them are clear. Yes, I activated. And um, I got a bunch of gel polish too. I'm not going to swatch the gel polish, maybe in another one, but we'll see. Um, okay, so the first question was, when are you moving to Arizona so we can be nail besties? <laughs> um, planning, this is Ciao Bella. I am planning to get out to Arizona by like mid-summer of next year. I will be graduating with my bachelor's in the spring. So I gotta wait until I'm done with school. But as soon as I'm done with school, we out. We out. We're trying to figure out a way to get out there now and just go house hunting or check out neighborhoods, but that's material girl. So yeah, that's it. Sometime next summer. I graduate in May. I wanna be out there by like June, July. That way the kids are, you know, good to go for school in September. Uh, oh, you're in Phoenix? Oh my gosh, you have so many people in Arizona, yay. Um, I'm planning on moving out to like the North Phoenix area, Scottsdale, Mesa, somewhere around there. We gotta go check out neighborhoods. So I'm gonna need all of you guys to hit me up on DM or email. I need all the tea. I need all the tea about the North Phoenix, Scottsdale, Mesa area. Give it all to me, cause that's where I'm looking. Okay, so this is Chow Bella. It looks like a really sheer, maybe like a French pink, and we'll see how this, oh, it's actually kind of opaque. We'll see how it goes. We'll see, we'll see. We need to hang out. Heck yeah, we do. If I'm going to Arizona, I'm gonna have some fun while I'm there. Okay, so let me go through another question. I have everything written down. Oh, this is a cute question. Somebody asked me where my rings are from. Hey babe, you wanna come here and answer a question? Yeah. Guess who's here, guys? Hello. Brian, it's, it's Brian. Brian's here. I'm back. <laughs> back again? <laughs> All right, so her rings are from a custom jeweler. Are you watching my live on your yeah, phone right now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll pause it. That's like the only video you've ever watched of me. I, I ordered her, uh, her engagement ring from a um, custom jeweler in uh, New York. And... Uh, so it's not a production model. It was completely custom designed by myself and the jeweler. You did a good job. It's a one of a kind. Yeah. Yeah, just like you. Yeah, well, just like you. <laughs> Thanks for uh, volunteering yourself. Oh, no problem. We'll go watch some more. Are you watching? Really? Yeah. I'm sitting right here. You don't have to watch my live. <laughs> I'm just watching. <laughs> Goofball. I'm going to activate this one. All right, did you guys order? I know I've seen a bunch of you ordering the eye gel, which I, I can't believe you guys have that much faith in me. <laughs> I say one thing about a dip company and y'all flock. It's hilarious. But they're actually really, really good. 
Not mad at them at all. This is pretty. Okay, I like this one. This is nice. It's not totally opaque, but it's pretty. All right, I'm gonna get that top coated and uh, we'll be done with that one. So another question you guys had for me was about nail tips. Oh shoot, before I forget, let me label this because I will never remember what this is. I, you know what? Everyone is like trying to send me bills. <laughs> I can't even tell you how many DMs and emails I get with like receipts and I'm like, I'm not paying that. That's, I didn't do it. DD165. I am not paying your bills, guys. <laughs> not unless you want mine. If you want mine, I'll trade you. Promise you mine or more. Where did my top coat go? There it is. Okay, so about tips. Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of tips. I just find I like my natural nails better, but I once in a blue moon, I'll be in the mood to put on some tips, especially if I break a bunch of nails doing God knows what. I'll just, I'll do tips. Um, there's a company, I can for the life of me remember what the company is, but it's definitely in my Amazon favorites box and I'll make sure I highlight it once this video is published. Um, but they're pretty cheap. I get them on Amazon. Um... I think I've had the same case of tips for literally like a year. I just use the same ones because I like them. Um, I'm gonna do Fairy Princess. You could do another layer of top coat on these if you really wanted to. For me, I'm like, they're just swatches and I'm, I'm not like a nail tech, I'm not in a shop, so I really don't care if they don't look perfect, but you can do whatever you want with your swatches. I just prefer to waste my time on my nails. <laughs> I'd rather do my nails. What are you guys wearing on your nails right now? Oh shoot, did I tell you about the giveaway? I mean, I told you about the giveaway, but um, true to form, like my normal giveaways, be subscribed, like the video. And after the video is published, you might have to comment because that's where my comment picker is gonna get your comment from, so. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see this. Look at that shimmer. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Milk bath nails. I did milk bath nails, but I want to do another one. I want to do another one because I had so much fun doing that one. I want to do one with tips. The shimmer showed up good in the video. Did it? I, did, I'm, I don't know if I'm creeped out or not. That you're sitting on the couch watching my live right now. So weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. This shimmer is really gorgeous though. In person, I feel like it looks so much better. It's not silver, it's, um, it's like a pearlescent white. So pretty. I am making a mess, true to form. No surprise there. Can you guys, can you hear my music on the thing? Yeah. You can? Okay. I wasn't sure if they would be able to hear it or not. Somebody just said your comment, to enter the podcast should be enter me. <laughs> enter me oh my god can i just tell you guys how awkward that was the last time i had a giveaway and i was like comment down below enter me if it wasn't awkward enough seeing all the comments saying enter me it was more awkward having to say you've been entered to like 400 of you <laughs> i was dying <laughs> that was awkward we're not i mean if you want to comment that be my guest i however will not <laughs> Be replying with, you've been entered. I mean, I might. Depends on how much wine I have right now. All right, Fairy Princess. Double D10. I, G, B. I don't know if we're gonna get through all of these. This is gonna be like a two hour live. I got nowhere else to be. Feel free to leave though. If, if you do, I know it's a Friday night, although I don't know how many of y'all are going out. I'm gonna go ahead and top coat. And give this a cure. There's cat hair everywhere. I can't get away from the cat hair. All right, get that in there. And this one was the fairy princess. See, it's like kind of, it's not opaque. It's definitely got, a little, it's more on the sheer side, but it's pretty. See if you can see it over the strawberries. See, it's a little sheer. It's nice though. Okay. That one's done. Next one. 
Oh, dark crimson. It was CJ. I knew it was CJ. <laughs> Y'all, Candy Skin Care is in the house. <laughs> it's my girl. I love her. Hi, CJ. <laughs> oh, this is... I've been dying for some fall colors. I don't, I'm, I'm not that I'm bypassing summer. I love summer and I love summer colors, but I've been in such a fall mood lately. Are you guys like in a, in a I don't know, maybe it's just me. <laughs> just me, I want all the fall colors. I just ordered a bunch from Sparkle & Co too. All right. Let's get this one swatched. What are you guys doing this weekend? Any big plans? Anything happening? Are things open by you yet? Oh, this powder is soft. Oh my, I don't know if you guys could even like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you close in here. <gasps> Look how soft that is. It's so, yes, I want wine. Why are you staying there with the bottle? <laughs> Please don't spill that. It sounds like someone's peeing right now. Okay, that's not even funny. <laughs> I have more wine. I swear that's what was going on. All right, so I'm gonna dust this off. Go in front, did you spill? I did. You're fired. You're fired. It's all right, I forgive you. Because you did in fact bring me wine. All right, coat number two. These are so gorgeous as dips. I've only seen other videos of people using them as like acrylic, you know, with monomer. But as dips, I think they're so beautiful. They're so easy to work with. This is actually iGel Beauty Clear, which is gorgeous. I love it. It's so super clear. Yes, these jars are tremendous. They are huge. But this, okay, so it's a two ounce jar. Can you see that? two ounce jar, right? It's, the company is in New Jersey and this two ounce jar cost me under $6. It was like 550, insane. I'm gonna get this uh, activated and I'm gonna label it. I'm gonna answer another question. All right, what's next on my lips? My lips, my list. How, I'm, I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Do I buff swatches? Clearly not, <laughs> no. <laughs> I do not buff swatches. I just don't like wasting the time with it. There's so many other things I'd rather be doing than swatching, to be perfectly honest. Hi, if you're new, hello. You're not missing much, just swatching. But definitely watch this back if, at some point because I did go over all the giveaway stuff earlier in case you were curious. Um, yeah, I'm gonna activate. What am I talking about right now? No, I don't buff my swatches, ever. Other stuff. Can I do my nails in what color? This color? I love this color. This is so going to be a fall mani at some point. Where's my thing? All right. IGL Beauty Double D 34. IGB 34. That's a four. Gonna get this guy top coated and we'll move on. I'm gonna answer another one of y'all's questions. All right, Cure. This was the like pearlescent shimmer, uh, Fairy Princess. So cute. The clear was sold out. They have bigger things of the clear, bigger jars, you know. And I'm sure they'll be back in stock soon. Okay, so another question you guys had was, should you put an Apex on short nails? That is totally gonna be a personal preference thing. I usually don't. Cosmic Latte. Um, I don't because my nails naturally have a curve to them, but if your nails are a little bit on the flatter side, the heck happened here? If your nails are on the flatter side or if your nails like dip in through the center or like fly up at the end, then you might want to. And for that, what I usually do, and again, this is, what the heck? We're gonna figure this out. Here we go. Oh my gosh, how many steels are on this thing right now? You guys see this? This is like one of those Russian dolls, you know, where it's like a doll within a doll within a doll. 
There we go, I got it. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, when I usually do an apex on my nails, um, I should have done it on these, I didn't, but what I'll usually do is I'll do like a three quarter dip from here to here, avoiding the sidewall, so just like right in the middle and then on the edge. And uh, it really was more, I got in it though, I got in. Um, so yeah, I'll just do a clear or like a natural type color as a three quarter dip and then I'll just do my normal dip. But it's totally up to you, I mean, they're your nails. You dip them the way you want to. Next question. Uh, let's see. How to avoid getting dip bulky. Uh, okay, I, I get this question a lot and I'm glad you guys ask um, because I don't really have a good answer. <laughs> I'm gonna be kind of useless here and just tell you what I have experienced and how I've made it work. Uh, I definitely have been in the position where I've tried to do nails and they just end up like lumpy or super thick or you know stuff like that and I find that if you're doing too many dips like full nail dips it's going to get bulky and thick and your cuticle area doesn't need that much coverage matter of fact it's not good because that can cause lifting so what I tend to tell you guys to do is just do less dips do less dips um, or you know if you need to build up your nail do dips in the center of your nail and towards the free edge and leave the cuticle, like the cuticle and the sidewalls alone until you're doing your two dips of color. And it should be okay. But if you, and the base too, if you're applying base like super thick, oh, this is way more sheer than I thought it would be. Let's see how it is on the second dip. If you're applying base like super thick and just glopping it everywhere, that's gonna result in like goopy, lumpy products. So keep it thin, keep it level, let it self level for a minute not even a minute, a couple seconds, and then you should be fine. That's my best advice for that. It's a little sheer, but I kind of like it. I'm finding these like may need a third dip. I don't know, maybe some colors. I'm gonna go ahead and label. Double D 13. Double D 13. What colors did you guys get? Did you go for like the glows? I, I'm not sure if I ordered glows or not. Double D13. Got it. Your cuticle area? What's going on in your cuticle area? Is it like bulky and thick and stuff? Because that's usually too much product. Usually. I only do two dips of color and one dip of clear. It's like my normal thing, but again, it depends on your nails. I don't find my cuticle area to be that bulky, but if you do, you can just file the cuticle area down with either a hand file. I'm gonna be doing a hand, oh shit. Oh my gosh, I said a bad word. I'm gonna be doing a hand filing video because I know you guys have been wanting to see that. Oh my gosh, please apologize to your husbands for me. I feel like <laughs> I get this comment a lot, a lot. Like, oh my God, my husband's gonna kill me. Someone hide the boxes. Please apologize to your spouses. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't send me bills. Send an apology note on my behalf. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this was the crimson one that we did. That's pretty. Ooh, I like this one. You're in dip jail. I feel like I'm in dip jail. I'm surrounded by dip right now. I'm in dip jail. Although I'm not complaining. I kind of like it. All right, we got Teal Me About It. Is this a glitter? Looks like a shimmer. We're gonna figure it out. Deep, deep, deep. Oh, next question. Hello. Do, do, do. What am I going to school for? Ah, thank you guys so much for all your congratulations. Um, I wasn't trying to brag or anything. I do wanna keep you guys involved. You guys let me in a lot and I feel like I wanna do the same with y'all. So yes, I am going to school. I'm in my last year of my bachelor's degree for human services. Uh, what that pretty much means, if you don't know, because I didn't know when I signed up for it, pretty much it has to do with like social work, um, counseling, therapists, all in that realm. So that's what I'm going to school for. I've got one more year and uh, yeah, then I'll graduate. And what I wanna do with it, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do yet. I have an idea of like who I want to work with and 
you know, what type of place I want to work in. But um, I'll follow that up. I'll segue into another question, actually. After I finish my degree, look at this. <gasps> Ooh. That is lovely. Uh, I get so easily distracted. I'm like a squirrel. Shiny things. Um, but after I graduate and we move to Arizona, I plan on going to nail school. So I will be getting my nail tech or manicurist license, hopefully when I get to Arizona. So that's the plan. I don't know, I'll have options at least. I'm not entirely sure which direction I wanna go with it all, but that's the plan for now. This is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I wonder what it's gonna look like top coated. Uh, double D 222. Okay, let me brush this up and get activated. Yeah, that was another question. What, you know, would I ever want to be a nail tech? I don't know if I want to be a nail tech per se, but I definitely want to go to nail school. If not for nothing else, for the education. You know, like I'm here and I'm talking to you guys and teaching as many of you guys tell me I'm doing, but I really want to be more educated. So that's the plan. I G B. Double D two two two. Yes, my handwriting is appalling. And I'm sorry. Activate and we'll top coat and we'll move on. Cat hair. Holy come on. That's a Greta hair. Good enough for me. Tell me about it. Restart. Top coat. You love, oh, you guys are so sweet. You're so sweet. Feel free to like screenshot as I'm going, you know, if you want. I don't know if you can do that while I'm live, but I'll, I'm gonna try my best to link everything in the description box. That's probably gonna take me like 14 years, but I will do my best. All right, so this one was, 13, Cosmic Latte. That's that guy. It's like a nude, but it's pretty, it's kind of sheer. That's a nice nude. It reminds me actually a lot of Cream of the Crop. Cute. All right, what's next, what's next? Let's find something fun. Instaglam. Oh, look at that. I got some out the box colors in this haul, I think. Brian, that's a great idea. Read, you should read the comments to me. <laughs> Are they frozen? I can see some. You don't see them coming in right now? No. I see them. Ooh, you got Cosmic Latte and Cream of the Crop. Yeah, somebody else commented and said they haven't seen a comment since 923. That's so, I'm seeing comments. That's so weird. Are you guys seeing comments or... Yours keeps freezing. That's so weird. Well, I don't know if it's the inter. I can see comments. That's so strange. I don't know if it's our, our Wi Fi or what it is. I'll go kick everybody off the internet. Don't kick everybody off the internet. It's just YouTube. <laughs> Hopefully, the comments will be there afterwards. Would you guys hate me so much if I told you that after I upload this or after, you know, it's like published? done being live to comment on it. Would you guys hate me? I'm just not sure how it's gonna work with my comment picker because that's how I pick the giveaway winners just so it's like totally random. Oh, look at that. That's so gorgeous. Man, I'm sorry. The comments are like the most fun part. At least I can see some of them. Now I'm not sure if I'm even seeing all of them. What are you doing to me, YouTube? some sort of YouTube conspiracy. YouTube has been weird lately. I've had people tell me they've had to like subscribe and unsubscribe and re hit the notification, whatever. And I'm like, I don't know. YouTube has been funky lately. Everything on YouTube is weird. This color is gorge. Giveaway, I'll go over the giveaway one more time. Definitely watch the video back or just the beginning part of the video because that's where I go over all the giveaway stuff. And the giveaway box is tremendous. Um, like the video, be subscribed and comment the best way to get a hold of you per usual, my, you know, 
standard giveaway entry rules. Nothing crazy. Um, I want, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see these comments once the video uploads. So maybe comment like after Instagram double D 45. I G B double D 45. Oh my gosh, I have like serial killer handwriting. Let me top coat this. Uh, okay, I figured it out, babe. Did you fix it? Um, no, they have to go up to on, uh, the, don't go full screen, like if you're watching on your phone. I don't know what you're saying right now. Go um, to the little filter thing and say top chat. It'll say some messages such as potential spam may not be visible or live chat, all messages are visible. All right, so where's that? Show me. You gotta go here. I can't see it with your thumb in the okay, way. Okay, here, I'll go here. So you gotta go here and go live chat. Waha, look at all that. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. I'm not sure if I even understand what you just said, but hopefully someone did. Uh, yeah, live chat, that's it. Okay, this is, tell me about it. So cute. What's up, Becky? Hi, though. Hello. Did you want to say hi to everybody? Hi to everybody. There's Becca, my Becca boo. Do you have decent nails right now? What happened to your whole hand? <laughs> you are not my child. That's it. This one's got to go. Put her out by the mailbox. At least they have I have the same color on both nails. Everyone says hi. Hi, everyone. You don't have the same color. One of your hands is totally naked. It, looked, it did look like this one. I'm I know it did. I don't, you've been picking them off. No. That's terrible. That's this cool. is the Instaglam. That is gorge. Oh, look at this. So good. So good. Can you guys see comments now? Did you all fix it? Let's find a fun color to swatch. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what's good, what's good? There's so many neutrals. Neutrals are boring. What is this? Warm chinchilla. All right, let's see how this does. Thank you so much. You guys are so great. Right, um, Stephanie Lewis said on other lives she's done, you can see all comments after live is over. Oh. I'm going to ask her how. You don't have to ask. I'll find it. Okay. I, things are going kind of fast in the comment section. Okay. I, I'm going to look. I'm going to go look back and see if I can. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It'll get figured out. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Warm chinchilla. Warm chinchilla. Oh, I have questions. I have questions. How to avoid lifting? Oh, prep, 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 prep. Lifting is always caused by some sort of error in like the prep world, whether it's like dead cuticle, like, you know, around this area or oily nail beds or nail plates, like that's super common. Bulky product can definitely contribute to lifting. So I would say if you're having a lifting issue, definitely, rethink whatever prep you're doing. Uh, if you're doing all the right things, you know, if you're buffing away all the dead cuticle and if you're, you know, dehydrating and stuff, you may just have oily nail plates. One of my friends actually, my best friend down here, she has seriously oily nail plates or nail beds or whatever. This color is gorgeous. And when I do her nails, I have to dehydrate her nails and buff them like four times. Not to the point of ruining her nail, but if she wants product to stay, that's the way we have to do it. Just the way it is. Some people do, I'm, my nail beds are naturally dry. That's why I never buff my nails like pretty much ever. But I'm, I'm lucky in that way. I dry everything, dry skin, dry scalp, dry nails, but that works for adhesion for me. So yay. <laughs> that is warm chinchilla. Double D 79. All right, let's get that one top coat. I love this. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. What do you think, Becky? It's cute. Do you love it? It's cute. It is cute. All right, put that in the oven. Cure, baby cure. How did Brian and I meet? Oh my gosh. He swiped right. <laughs> it's 
kind of true, but kind of not. I don't know if they heard that. <laughs> so this is a funny story for you guys. I don't know. I think it's amusing. What are you doing? Go. You're not allowed over here. What? Nope. Nope. You're going to interrupt me. Nope. Okay. <laughs> this is my story. I'm telling it the way I'm telling it. Okay. So Brian and I met. Um, I had just moved to Florida. I was here for a few months and... One of my friends and I were sitting on our back patio one night. What color am I doing? I need to focus. I have zero focus ability. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're sitting on the back patio one night, drinking some wine, and she was trying to find a guy, and she was doing online dating and stuff. Oh, Mint Crush. Let's figure that one out. So she begged me to do online dating with her. And I was not trying to meet a guy. I was like, nope, I just moved to Florida. I'm going to stay single for as long as possible. But I wanted to support her. So her and I both did some sort of like, I don't know, dating app. What was it? Was it? Tell me it wasn't Plenty of Fish. Was it funny? Oh, God. This is mortifying. <laughs> anyway, so we're both on this stupid dating app. And my friends and I decided it would be fun to like switch phones so she would swipe for me, and I would swipe for her. <laughs> and it got really interesting for a while. I was swiping on some definitely questionable characters, but she swiped on Brian. Yay for and Brianna. And literally... Becca. <laughs> <laughs> so she swiped on Brian, and shortly after that happened, I got a message from Brian. And all the message said was, are you checking me out? And I'm like, this guy, what? <laughs> um, that was literally two days before Christmas of 2016. Was it 16, babe? Yeah. Yeah, 2016. And wow. we have been together ever since. Wow, so, wow, wow. <laughs> that's how Brian and I met. I love that story. To be honest, I tell it to everybody because it's such a good story. Things happen the way they're meant to. I've said it for a million years. This color is absolutely stunning. Pretty. I love it. It's pretty. I love it. Do you like it, boo? Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's gorgeous. That's cute. Okay. Double D 132. Let's brush it off, put on activator. Boop, boop, boop. Hello. Oh my gosh. No more wine for you, Marla. <laughs> okay. Double D 132. I G B. That's a lot of colors. I know. I have so many. This is going to be like a four hour live. <laughs> you do all of them on your live? Um, we'll see how many we can get through. I don't know. If people wow. start wow. dying off on me, um, I may cut it short, but whoever wants to hang out. I was watching them anyway, so let's just all do it together. Are you guys doing your nails right now while I'm swatching or what are you guys doing? Okay, this was the warm chinchilla. Oh my gosh, I love this. That is gorgeous. What the? <gasps> I'm in. I'm in for the warm chinchilla. <laughs> it's pretty. Oh. Close your eyes and pick a jar. Okay, this might be boring. I don't know. I'm going to close my eyes and pick a jar. Pick one. Uh, mixing, mixing. Is this a good one? Or is it boring? French white. <laughs> Do I really want to swatch French? This is what I close my eyes and pick. Do you guys believe this? I pick French. You know what? Let's swatch it. Let's swatch it. <laughs> I hope y'all are enjoying this. <laughs> You're swatching too? Awesome. Swatch at me. Oh, symptoms of diplu. Yeah, you know what? That's on my list of questions. I'll just, I'll get right to that now. So dip flu, I, I don't, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nail tech. I'm, I'm not nothing. Okay. I'm, I'm a student and I like to play with nail stuff, but I'm in no way, shape or form any type of professional. But I can tell you that when I started doing dip nails, I was congested what seems like all the time. Okay. But this is, I'm, I don't know. 
I'm not qualified to answer this question. What I can tell you is what I've experienced. I got very congested. I would get like sinus infections, but I will also say that when I first started doing my own nails, I was a smoker and I'm no longer a smoker. I vape because I've done research and I find that vaping is better for me than cigarettes. So I vape, but I no longer smoke. And my medical conditions, as far as like the bronchitis and the sinus infections, all that seems to have gone away since I quit smoking. So I don't know if I ever really had dip flu or if I just had like a menagerie of other stuff, you know? But from what I've heard, that white is pretty opaque. I like this white. From what I've heard, the dip flu is usually sinus related, you know? like congestion or irritation in the eyes, like kind of an allergy almost reaction. But I don't, I've never really had, looking back, I don't think I had dip flu. I think I was just a smoker and I had smoking related stuff happening. So I don't know. I, I heard some of you talking about like getting stomach issues with dip flu. I don't think I've ever heard of that, but I'm sure that if you're like congested, all that stuff is, you know, connected, you know, uh, your nose and throat. So it could be in your stomach somehow if you're, I don't know. I don't, if don't eat it, if you're not eating it, then you're probably fine. <laughs> but dip flu is serious. I've heard so many people complaining about it and I couldn't even imagine. Um, Cause I've tried the gel method and while it works, it hundred percent works. I have two videos on my channel doing the gel method. I just don't like it. It's a personal thing. Everyone's got their own things. And I just, I find it takes more time for me and it just doesn't come out as good. But that's, that's a me thing. You know, you gotta do what works for you. I didn't label that, it's French white. This one was the Mint Crush. Mint Crush, oh my God, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love it. That's a good one, she's a keeper. All right, gonna put my hand in here and pick another one. I got medium pink. This is a French pink, I'm not swatching that one. Y'all know what medium pink looks like. I have 500 medium pinks, they're all the same. Uh, Stonewash, this is like a gray. I actually have a color by Sparkle & Co on my toes right now, it's called Mint To Be. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. What does Brian do for a living? Ooh, people are getting nosy. <laughs> Brian is the operations person at our local private charter airline down here. He's also a pilot. So he does all stuff that's like plane related. Don't ask me like the ins and outs of it. I have no idea. It all confuses the heck out of me. He's taken me flying once and I would never do it again. I more than once. Was it more than, oh, you did take me more than once. We went up for New Year's Eve, like the first New Year's Eve we spent together. And then he flew me, this is so bougie. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud. But he and I had a date day up at Bush Gardens. <laughs> and we flew, <laughs> he flew me from, from where we are at in like St. Lucie County to Bush Gardens, which is like a two and a half hour drive. It was like a 45 minute flight. I felt like such a spoiled brat, <laughs> but that's what happened. So I don't mind flying with him, but sometimes I'm just a paranoid person. Double D 17, just wanted to see what that was. Double D 17, that's what Brian does. He's super cool. That's the French white, totally opaque. I like that white, that one's awesome. So I'm gonna give you guys a little uh, personal moral info. So you guys know, I don't know, there's no point to this. It's just me talking and telling you guys a little bit more about me. Oh, your neighborhood friend is from PSL? Outstanding. Yeah, you guys are gonna be my neighbors. Although I'm only gonna be here for like another year. <laughs> you guys are gonna move in and I'm gonna move out. Um, so I was actually born in Oklahoma and I was adopted. And my adoptive parents live in New York. So I grew up in New York. I was in Oklahoma for a very short period of time. I think I was only a few days old when I went to New York. So I was technically born in Oklahoma, raised in New York. And I've been in Florida now for, well, four and a half years-ish. Has it been almost five years already? No, it can't be. Yeah. Shut up, five years? I feel like I've been here forever. Um, I, was, I was raised on Long Island. 
So that's uh, Suffolk County. I don't know if you guys know Long Island. <laughs> I know I have a few of you Long Islanders up there, but so that's where I was from. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing right now? I'm so distracted. Did I even, that was French white. I didn't even do this. Yeah, I did. Where did stone wash go? Did I put it back? I put it back. I already answered that. That's dark pink. I don't want to do dark pink. Oh, cityscape. I gotta do skitties, skitties, little lap, skitties. I can't. Cityscape. <gasps> the wine is real right now. Cityscape. Do I what? Do I really? I need less. Can you siphon some of it out of me? It's clearly, it's impairing my judgment right now and my ability to swatch crazy. Double D what? Double D 76? Double D 76. Okay. Let's get this done. Y'all, I have so many colors. I think we're about halfway through. Maybe. <laughs> You're one of my favorite humans. Oh my God, you guys are so kind and sweet. I seriously have the best subscribers in the whole wide world. I tell everybody that too, and everyone laughs at me, and I'm like, no, really. Really, you don't know. So they said, what if you need to use the bathroom no wait? If I have to what? They yeah, said, if you have to use the bathroom no wait. If I do... <laughs> I think I'm good for now. I haven't broken the seal yet. I like this gray color. That's pretty. Somebody called out your New York accent. Once in a, especially when I drink, my New York accent comes out. Or when I get mad, ask Brian. <laughs> if I get pissed off enough, um, the Brooklyn comes out. My dad was from Brooklyn. I rarely hear it. No one could even hear you. I don't think anyone could hear you roll over there. You hear it all the time. You're driving me bonkers. It's like when I'm in a when I'm in this kind of mood where I'm just happy and sitting here and swatching and drinking and whatever, I'll go into accents. <laughs> Usually it's like the worst UK British accents ever. <laughs> Then I get pissed off and all of a sudden I'm from Brooklyn. Maybe I have multiple personalities. I should study myself. Cityscape. This is pretty. Where's my activator? Oh my God, it's so weird. I can hear myself across the room. There's like a, I don't know, few second delay. That freaked me out. That freaked me out, babe. Get you top coated. How many of you guys order from iGel? I know a lot of you guys order from iGel. And were you disappointed at all? I was not. I am super happy with all of this stuff. I love it all. I didn't do stonewash. I don't even know where it went. It literally ran away from me. Stonewash has left the building. Nope, yeah, it's right here. <laughs> Still waiting. My dad was from Brooklyn Heights. I, um, I've been to Brooklyn a bunch of times when I was a kid. I used to work in Queens actually when I was um, like in my 20s. But I do not miss it, if I'm being honest. I don't miss it, especially not the weather. Like New York winters were the worst, worst. Oh, where's my swatchy swatchy? What made I, oh, well, that's a story. Uh, the short version of the very long story about why I moved to Florida from New York is I ran away. <laughs> Things were not good in New York for me and the kids. We were in kind of like a weird situation in weird positions. And I, I wound up having to make a really tough executive decision whether to stay and be in one situation or to leave and be in a completely different situation. And Florida was really just like the lesser of the two evils. And now having been here for a while, I know that I made the right choice. Things, I, I'm telling you, the second time tonight I'm saying it, but things happen the way they're meant to. And I believe that I'm here, you know, for a reason. I believe that I'm moving to Arizona for a reason. And I have no regrets, ladies and gentlemen, no regrets. <laughs> I like my life down here. I'm excited to move and um, probably a family. Um, 
in Arizona. I don't know if you're talking about Arizona or in Florida. I have family in Florida. I have a lot of friends down here too. In Arizona, I literally know nobody except for a few of you guys <laughs> who tell me you live in Arizona. I don't know why. I think I mentioned this in the last, maybe it was in a video or a live that I did. I don't remember. Double D 17. Um, I feel like I'm being pulled towards Arizona for some reason. I'm not sure why. I get these like feelings. I don't know if some of you guys know what I'm talking about, but just certain feelings that I need to be somewhere. And that's how I feel about Arizona. So we'll see what happens. Double D 17. I was stonewashed. I finally got it done. I thought it left me, but it didn't. I have to activate. Let me activate. Y'all, this is hard. <laughs> I have such like tunnel vision. I'm like, what am I doing? Am I talking or am I watching? This is why I don't do a lot of lives. <laughs> I love New York too. I love New York in the fall, especially upstate New York. I, I haven't spent much time upstate, but I love upstate New York in the fall. It's so gorgeous. We don't have fall down here. We have summer for like 367 days, literally. Yes, that's right. Two days more than the average year because it's always summer down here. It's actually like one or two days in the winter where it gets pretty cold, but it doesn't even count. Cure. Thank you. That one. That's Cityscape, I think. Somebody's asking if you'll ever do a meet and greet. I would love to do a meet and greet. I don't know that anyone would show up. <laughs> Ah, that would be fun though, eventually. Definitely on my to-do list. I would absolutely love to do that. I'm gonna grab electric blue. Oh my God, this color is so my, you guys know. Y'all know, this is so my jam right here. I'm excited about this one. Tranquil, you're gonna love the Tranquil Aqua. There was another, there were a couple of other like aqua-ish type ones that I got, they're all gorgeous. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. That's like weird about the meet and greet too, because I know I have a lot of you guys that are so spread out literally all over the world. I know I have a lot of you guys in the UK. I have a lot of you guys in Australia. I have a lot of you guys, I have you guys in Germany and Austria. I have so many of you all over the place. And I'm like, I, <laughs> where would I even go? Like we do a meet and greet somewhere cool, like Fiji. <laughs> and oh. how many, what? Cabo. Cabo. We can, I loved Cabo. Oh, that was one of the questions y'all wanted answered. What was my favorite vacation destination? Cabo, Mexico. Brian and I went on our honeymoon there. Best time of my life. And when I say honeymoon, I mean, we're both, well, I'm in my 30s. He's in his 40s, respectively. I had to, I'm sorry. <laughs> and we went to Cabo. We got married a couple of years ago, went to Cabo for a honeymoon. And we didn't do a whole lot. I mean, we went walking around like the town and stuff. Japan, are you in Japan? That sounds like a cool trip. I've never been there. I kind of want to though. Um, yeah, so we went to Cabo and we spent most of our time at the resort that we stayed at. But let me just tell you, I'm a foodie. I am a hardcore foodie, so is Brian. And we ate some of the most delicious food we ever had in our lives there. It was outstanding. We had like, beluga caviar and squid ink, like fried squid, it was crazy. The stuff we ate was just bonkers and it was the best time ever. I love food vacations, love food vacations. Electric blue, double D 69. Let me get this labeled. So that was my favorite place that I've gone so far. I think what I want to do as far as like a vacation, I have a lot of places on my like bucket list, you know? Um, Australia is definitely one of them. I would love to go to Australia. Although I'm not even gonna lie, I'm kind of terrified because I feel like everything in Australia will in some way, shape or form try to kill me. <laughs> like snakes and spiders and all of that stuff. I don't know, I'm kind of scared. But that's definitely where I wanna go. I definitely wanna go to Spain. Um, I recently did a whole like genealogy thing. Have you guys done that? I did this like, you know, like my heritage or whatever it was. Um, so I recently found it cause I had no idea, you know, I'm adopted. I only know like half of my stuff. So I keep forgetting double D 69. So I did the genealogy thing and I'm mostly German. And then I have Spanish and I think it was like Iranian and Irish. It was so weird, this mix that I am, but 
definitely want to go to all these countries and experience the culture. I just, I love experiencing cultural stuff. So Spain is on my list. Um, the Middle East is on my list. I want to go everywhere. I want to, I want to go to Egypt. We have so many places I want to go. Where would you guys want to do a meet and greet? Give me your ideas. I want to go where you guys want to go. Cause I can have fun anywhere. All right, electric blue is in. Which one did I miss? Did I do the Tranquil Aqua? Okay. 72. Nope, I did not. All right, Tranquil Aqua it is. It wasn't 23 in me. It was, was it my heritage? my heritage? It was, it was my heritage that we did. Which is funny now because I'm like, are you going to bed, Kayla? Good night, babe. I'll see you soon. Um, yeah, I got all like paranoid. Not that I'm a criminal. I'm really like anti-crime, matter of factly. I, I'm kind of paranoid about not breaking rules. Um, but I'm like, oh my God, the FBI has my, ID, my like, you know, saliva and my DNA now. And God forbid I should do something wrong. Now I'm in the system. I'm in the system. I'm going to need an alibi. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Don't leave me. Any recent tattoos? No, but I am getting the itch again. I'm getting the itch for another, for another something. I have some ideas about what I wanna do, but I have nothing finalized yet. I'm one of those people where I have gotten impulse tattoos. This, this was an impulse tattoo. <laughs> impulse vacation tattoo. But I do like to like take my time and really think about it. Hey, Care Bears. My stepdaughter is here. Um, I like to think about my tattoos because they're permanent. You know, it's not like I don't plan on getting laser tattoo removal at any point because that sounds super painful and expensive, but I got to think about it. I like, I, I like to think about them for like a year before I commit to it. That sound weird? Maybe like a good year just to think about it. I love this color. This looks like my toe color. You guys are gonna see my feet. <laughs> You're asking to do a Zoom call. Zoom call? I don't even have Zoom. You wanna hear something crazy, guys? So being that campus is closed and I have to do all my school online, we had to do a proctored exam. Do you have any idea how complicated it was to try to figure out how this proctoring worked. I'm like, I know I have a webcam on my computer. I've never used it before. I don't know how this stuff works. Super complicated. And then I had so much anxiety. I have like test anxiety as it is, but now I know someone, even if it's like artificial intelligence, I know someone's watching me and it freaks me out. This is gorgeous. Looks like my toe color. But yeah, you guys are gonna see a dip petty. Ugh. So I'm sorry. <laughs> My preemptive apology is for putting a dip pedicure on my YouTube channel. All right, what do I got in here? This guy, this was 17. This is stonewashed. Oh, hi. Oh, I love when Littles watch. I'm gonna try and keep it clean. I think I have been. That one's stonewashed. Then I've got, this is the electric blue. There is this guy right here. Electric blue. Gorgeous. I love this. Love, love, love. All right. What's next on my list? I got... Ooh, candy apple. Did I really... See, this is why I keep you guys around. Because I'm an idiot. Stonewashed. DP2. Oh my gosh, you're right. You guys are the best. The best. DP2. So I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. This is, I don't know how I'm, how I'm not falling over right now. Okay. Candy apple. You know what? Let's label it first. Just because. <sighs> Double D32. Watch, my handwriting's gonna get like progressively worse as this goes on. Either because I'm continuing to drink or because I just stopped caring. <laughs> I hate swatching. <laughs> 
This is like my least favorite thing to do, but I'm happy doing it with you guys. Doing it alone is just boring. All right, candy apple. I'm excited about this color. This is another fall color, I think. You know where else I got a lot of fall colors? Sparkle & Co. I got a bunch. Did you guys sign up for the Sparkle subscription bags this month? My swatch just broke. I was getting the, um, the gel sub bags. I got back onto the dip bandwagon. I'm gonna switch it up every so often. I think I like the dip colors better actually than the gels. This looks so gorgeous. Please be opaque. Please be opaque. If this is a jelly, it might be a little sad. I'm not into the jellies. You guys get into the jellies? You have six sub bags? <laughs> hey, I don't judge. You do what you gotta do. Activate. Let me see what other questions you guys had for me. I don't think I got them all. My questionnaire is now covered in dip jars. What do I do if I finish a Manny and I hate it? That's a good question. It's a good question. <laughs> Typically, I'll know if I hate it before I finish it. <laughs> Either it'll just look not good or I'll have a feeling about it like halfway, halfway there and I'll just soak it off and do it again. Or It's hard with peel off base coat. I'm gonna talk to you guys about peel off base coat in a minute, but it's tough with peel off because if you're using peel off base coat, I know most of you guys don't just because it doesn't last very long, but if you do, you really need to have like a, like a layered hard, like to do one layer of dip and then peel it off doesn't really work very well. So I'll have to soak it off usually. I don't use peel off base coat anymore. I have quit peel off base coat. And I'll tell you why, I was damaging my nails. Didn't really notice it and, or think about it until I put the numbers together and did the math. And I said, you know what? Peel off base coat is what's ruining my nails. Because even though things pop off like pretty easily, sometimes things get caught, like especially on the free edge, like especially like right here, things will get stuck and then I'll go to pop it off and it'll rip my nails. This is, this is a repair. Um, this is poly gel. <laughs> I don't like poly gel, but I did repair, repair my nails with it. So, oh my gosh, I'm losing my voice. This is what happens when I talk too much. Babe, you gotta tell me to shut up once in a while. Am I good? So yeah, I have a quick peel off base coat. I'm just going to... Um... Here's a good question. What, baby? How do you do it all? You volunteer, do your nails, edit YouTube videos, take care of your kids, and you don't even know if you have a day job. When do you sleep? <laughs> drink a lot of coffee? I do drink a lot of coffee. Oh my gosh, that was a good question. I wish you could come over here and read those comments to me. That way everyone can hear it. All right. That would be awesome. Um, somebody asked, how do I do it all? This is candy apple, by the yeah, way. It's so Amanda gorgeous. Taylor. Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Um, I don't have an actual job. I'm a full-time student. And I have not been volunteering for a good while because with like COVID and everything, he did pull a chair up. He's sitting on the outside of my nail desk right now. <laughs> so my shelter has been closed to the public and I do the scheduling mostly for the shelter. Right now it's on skeleton crew. So I only have like three or four people in all week long. They're having, they're doing massive shifts right now but we're trying to just limit everything due to exposure and we're not open yet. I think July we might be opening again. I usually, when I actually volunteer like in person at the shelter, I go to one of my thrift stores. We have two thrift stores. All the proceeds from thrift go towards the shelter and we do adoptions there too. Usually our troubled cats wind up at thrift, which is maybe why I like going there so much. I like putting in the work with, you know, with the troublesome cats or the behaviorally challenged as I like to call them. So uh, that's been one less thing I've had to do recently, which is not the worst thing in the world because I do have like my summer classes and stuff. But um, yeah, so I have been off of that for a little bit since COVID and school is really not bad. Black Pearl, that looks interesting. School's really not bad at all. You know, I have a couple of writing assignments to do and my tests, which is all pretty easy. It's it, like the last year of bachelor's I feel is just, um, kind of diving more into detail from what we already learned already. So it's not difficult for me at least. 
I enjoy it. I like learning. Um, my kids are pretty much self-sufficient at this point, which is kind of good, but kind of sad at the same time. You know, my youngest is 11 now. What are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> you look at me like... I'll... <laughs> my youngest is 11, so it's not like I have itty bitties that require a whole lot of anything, you know? Um, I like to be busy. I don't, it's just a me thing maybe. If I'm not doing anything, I'm bored. If I'm doing one thing at a time, I'm bored. I have to be doing 800 things at once to be satisfied. And yes, I sleep, but I'm an owl. <laughs> I'm literally up until like three, four o'clock in the morning because it's the quietest time in my house to do work. So I've become an owl. I don't hate it. Wowza. Snap dragon or melancholy? I, I may have. I'm not sure if I did, but I may have. Jellies are typically colors that are not um, opaque. They're like very sheer and translucent, but pigmented. So it looks, if you can imagine, like imagine painting your nail with grape jelly. It's not gonna be opaque. It's gonna be pretty transparent, but that's pretty much what the jelly looks like. I'm just not a big fan, I don't know. Did you already answer uh, what your major is and what you want to school for? I think I did answer it, but I'll answer it again. Um, my major, I don't know if we have majors in college anymore. It's like weird now. Did I do two coats of this? Yeah, I did. Um, I'm in my last year of my bachelor's program for human services. Pretty much with that, I have to sneeze. Oh, it's coming. Bless you. <laughs> it's gonna get stuck. Um, it's kind of like social work or therapy or psychology. Oh, it's, I gotta sneeze. Just let it fly. <laughs> let it go. That sounds horrible. Please don't say that anymore. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so I hope one day to help a lot of people. I'll say that. So I'm not really sure which way I'm gonna go with it when I'm done. I like having the options to do pretty much whatever I wanna do. We'll see what happens. Okay. What? Here's another good one. What? What got you to do your first video on YouTube and how scared were you? I was terrified doing my first video on YouTube. Oh, I'm still terrified, if I'm just being honest. <laughs> um, I feel okay right now because I'm two glasses of wine deep, but lives make me so nervous. I don't know why. It's like doing presentations in school, which I hate. Hate. Okay, so this car sold out. Ugh. I can't believe I got it. Oh my God, my nose is mad. Now I'm stuffy. Okay, so um, I'll tell you about my first dip experience and I guess we'll segue that into my first video because my first nail experience was a good question that I got. So, uh, okay, I had some issues with college when I went back to school. I had dropped out of school when I was like 19. Um, just wasn't the right time for me. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you can probably relate to that. So I dropped out of college when I was 19 and apparently all these years later, and I'm talking like 17, 18 years later, it bit me in the ass and they wouldn't give me financial aid for my second semester of college. So I had to pay out of pocket for school. Mind you, I had been getting my nails done for literally like 20 years and I'm like, uh, I can't even afford to do that anymore. So I took it upon myself to do my own nails I hated polishing my nails. This powder is so soft. Do you see this? How it fluffy? Whoa, look super at that. Fluffy. It's so fluffy. Woo, my nose. Okay, so yeah, I was polishing my nails and I suck at polishing my nails. You guys probably know that by now. You've seen me attempt to polish my nails a bunch and I just don't like it. <laughs> I hate it. Um, yeah, so I started looking online and watching YouTube videos like a lot of you guys probably did. And I'm like, the hell is dip powder? What the hell is that? I can do that. <laughs> so I went to uh, Ulta. I think I went, to, I went to Ulta with Taylor, actually, my stepdaughter. Mm -hmm. And I bought this stuff called Red Carpet Dip. I don't know if you guys have heard about it or not, but it was freaking terrible. And I'm not sure if it was terrible, terrible, or if it was just terrible because I didn't know what I was doing terrible. <laughs> but in any event, it was awful. So I started with that and then I, I'm, I can't get this stupid thing closed. There we go. I'm the kind of person where, and you can ask my husband, there is no defeating me. Uh, nothing will defeat me. Nope. If, if I put my mind to something, you better believe it's gonna get accomplished because I'm just that stubborn and pig headed. Get out of her way. Pretty much. So I'm like, <laughs> F this, I'm going to find the dip stuff and I'm gonna master this. 
that's what's happening. And I tried Kiara Sky. And I got all their liquids, all their stuff, and I started doing the Kiara Sky stuff. Hang on, let me label IGB double D67. Okay. So I started doing the Kiara Sky, and I started getting good at it. Um, I'm a little anal retentive, for those of you that haven't noticed by, yet, by now. <laughs> Super picky and OCD about like how I do stuff. And I was putting photos and stuff on like the Kiara Sky Facebook group, community page, whatever. And someone asked me if I could do like a tutorial or a video on how I get my cuticle lines to look the way they do. And I'm like, uh, sure. <laughs> So I put up my first video, which is still on my channel, which is embarrassing, but I'm leaving it up there because it's like monumental. And I did this tutorial on how I do my prep and my finished filing kind of. And then someone else asked me how I did my cheetah print. So I did a tutorial on how I did my cheetah print. And it kind of like snowballed from there. This guy, what was this one? 42, 242. I don't even know what this was. This one? Nope. Where's this color go? Did I lose it? No, there it is. That was the black pearl. So that's pretty much how that all started. And yes, I am still nervous and terrified. It's gotten easier, especially like filing and stuff, because if you can imagine, like my hands are pretty far away from my face right now. And usually I'm like this with my nails in my face. Sorry for the extreme close-up, but I have to be like here. So when I'm doing filing down here, I'm usually not even looking at my nails. I have to look in my camera, in my phone, to see what I'm doing. So it's that was like the worst, trying to get used to having to actually be on camera. Y'all wait till you see the pedicure video if you watch it. That was like the hardest thing I had to do ever in my life. Hard. I, my back still hurts. Okay, uh, Bloody Mary. I'm excited about this one. You had another question What's up? here that was, uh, let me get to it. Um, it okay, was, do you feel awkward? I always feel awkward. With some people fangirling you. Oh, um, I don't think I feel awkward about it. Okay. I Can I answer this one? Um, sure. Okay, you can answer it. I, we have this discussion often. Do we? <laughs> we do, we do, because you, you say, I don't know why people watch me. I don't know why, you know, I have such a, such a following. I'm just a person. But, and, and I, I tell her constantly that it is the content and the quality of what she does on her videos and I would how, disagree. Well, and, but it's how <laughs> relatable and how personal, personable you are that makes people comfortable watching and chatting with you? I don't know. I don't know what drives people. I mean, I'm, okay, I'm also a subscriber, not to myself. Actually, I think I might subscribe to myself. Super weird, but I do. Um, but I'm a subscriber. I watch other YouTube channels and YouTube videos. So I can kind of understand because there are definitely some bigger YouTubers where if I ever saw any of them reply to anything that I ever, and I'm not really a commenter myself, I'm like this super quiet stalker subscriber. <laughs> but if any one of them ever like replied to me, like if Christine from Simply Nail Logical replied to me, I might have a heart attack. But then again, Christine has like 8 million freaking followers. So I think we would all probably have a heart attack if that happened, but I don't, it's not awkward for me. It just, I, I always kind of, wonder why not like i'm wondering like questioning you guys but just i don't know i just i feel normal i don't feel like a youtuber i don't know people call me an influencer from time to time and i'm like i hate that word i don't like it come on i don't try to influence anything even though that would be evident by the amount of bills that i find in my emails and my dms but no I'm deanna not. st Clair said it's your giggle they just it's... watch for the giggle yeah. <laughs> you guys want <laughs> Brian, is it a real laugh? It is. <laughs> <laughs> that is as real as it gets. Uh, who has heard me actually giggle that? CJ from Katie Skincare. Um, I have actually met her in person, and she is just an absolutely, absolutely amazing human. I love CJ to pieces. She will attest to my giggle, too. <laughs> There's, it's just me. 
I can't, I don't know how not to do it. <laughs> anyway, and the wine just kind of inflates the entire situation. This is why I don't do videos like tipsy. I, G, B, double D for a one. Oh my God, I'm so sniffly. And I put music back on. Play. Okay. Top coat. I love you guys so much. You don't understand how much it means to me when I read your comments. Even if I don't respond to you, I do read every single comment. And you guys just really, I say it all the time, but I mean it. You all make my heart smile. Every single day, you all make my heart smile. Is this a glow? Is it a glow? It might be a glow. I think this one's a glow. This is the, the lemon, laser lemon. I think it's a glow. Pretty positive. Poolside mimosas. That sounds like a brilliant idea. I should go find a really big pool because mine is a little teeny tiny one from Amazon. <laughs> when I get to Arizona, it is on. What else I got left? Let's find something fun. What is this? Sea foam. Do you guys want to see sea foam? What else is in here? What are you? Blush pink. Boring. Lots of fun stuff. Glitz and glamour. Let's do that. Deep a deep beep. I haven't done any glitters, I don't think. I know I got a bunch. Ooh, this looks like Barbie or something from Peppy Job. Uh, was that Caroline? That was Caroline. She burps like an 87 year old man. Yeah. She's nine. Is, is she nine? She is nine? Yeah, she's nine. She has nine. I don't know how old my daughter is. <laughs> um. I don't know how old I am most days. Don't feel bad. Oh, this was the Bloody Mary. Oh, it's so pretty. Love it. All right, that one's done. Swatch me, baby. One more time. Swatch you, oh. <laughs> Thanks, dear. Mm -hmm. That is double D 153. IGB, double D 153. I really should have gotten one of the kids to label these watches for me. Why didn't I think I've had? I don't know. That was super, super stupid. I get so in my head about these things. One of the cats pooped. That's nice. You want to go scoop litter boxes? Mm, never know. <laughs> oh, this glitter is gorgeous. I am like never disappointed with any of these colors. Do I always swatch? No, I am the laziest swatcher on the face of the earth. If I do swatch anything, I promise you, um, all these swatches are going to be in the bottom of a basket tomorrow. Because even though I will swatch them, uh, I'm not going to hang them up anywhere. I'm not going to put them on the ring because I'm lazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, your puppy loves my giggle. I love your puppy. If you haven't sent me a um, adoption story to my Marla Chris Paws and Claws email address, you have to, you must, that's an order. You need to, or I'm kicking you off my channel. I won't, I'm just kidding, but please do, because I would love to hear all about your pup. And congratulations on your pup. Oh my God, smoosh him for me, him or her, smoosh it. This second coat is gonna be so gorgeous. Oh my God, look how many dips we've gone through. What am I gonna do with all these dips, babe? I don't know. I need more shelves. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I need all the shelves. I'll take the uh, girls on a Home Depot run tomorrow. That would be amazing. Grab another shelf. Look at this. So pretty. You have two kitty girls? Oh my gosh, I love kitty. I love kitties. Kitties have my heart. I love all animals, but I'm the cat. I'm the crazy cat lady. Can I tell the cat story? What cat story? How, like, you had a dog, and you're like, no, no cats, no cats, no cats. And then I brought her home a kitten, and it's, we now have five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Five cats. In what world? It's all your fault. I know. I adopted one out of these four cats. One, one cat, I adopted. The other ones are all Brian's idea. 
You know what? I might have been mad. I love my cat family. <laughs> I really do. I don't care. I can be the crazy cat lady. Some people say I'm too young to be the crazy cat lady. I don't care. I'm the crazy cat lady. I wear that title proudly. All right, this one's going. No, I don't even file my swatches. I don't bother. Okay. What's next? What's next? Chrome on. <gasps> All right. All right. All right. I'm in. I'm in for the chrome. Oh, wowza. I don't even know if you guys can see how chromey it is. You got chrome on? Oh, I'm so excited right now. Oh my God, you cracked your nail. That's gonna be so painful. I'm so sorry. Definitely don't put anything on your nails if you have like an injury. That's just asking for trouble. Let it, let that thing heal for a little bit. I once slammed my finger on a car door and it cracked, it was my thumbnail, it cracked literally like right here, it cracked in half. It was terrible. Couldn't have anything on my nail for, I think it was a good like three weeks. That was horrible. That was long before YouTube though. That was when I was still getting my nails done. My nail tech, who is a very good nail tech, refused to put anything on my nails, which I got definitely mad about, but now I kind of understand and I feel kind of bad. Oh, I, I should chrome this and just see what happens. Maybe I will. This is gorgeous. Have I done acrylic on my, oh, well, this is acrylic. I don't know if you guys know that or not. I know there's some confusion about like dip powder versus acrylic. This is all acrylic. Dip powder is acrylic. The only difference between dip powder and acrylic typically is how finely milled the product is. If it's more finer, like finely milled, it's uh, considered dip. If it's more coarse, it's considered acrylic. I don't know the rules. It's all the same stuff though. But if, I, if you're asking if I ever used monomer, I have, and it's funny. Um, I tried playing with monomer and dip powder it was really early. It was before I started doing YouTube. It did not go well. Not even a little bit. I knew nothing though. Again, it was me just being cocky and I'm like, I'm going to do this because I know what I'm doing. And I did, definitely didn't. And it was funny. Um, I'm, I want to. I think I may try it again at some point just to play around because I've been watching a million and one videos. Chrome on double D 150. I definitely want to give it up. I want to start practicing before I start nail school too. Are you commenting on stuff? Yeah, I was just responding. Kirstie had a question for me about how long it takes to get her positive. Ah, cool. Uh, double D 150. Did you tell how much it costs? No. It, you should. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Christy, uh, you can get your private pilot's license for about six grand. Um, if, you're doing, if you do everything that I have, I have this, no. you're looking at about a uh, hundred grand. That's how much money it takes to be a pilot. And there's not a whole lot of work out there right now, I don't think. Oh, I'm gonna top coat. I'm gonna pause my swatching for a second and like gulp some wine because I am getting thirsty. All right, 60 seconds. Look at that one. Oh, I missed it. Get it back in there. That was the glitter, what was this? Glitter something. Where'd it go? Uh, Donna asked, what color are you wearing on your right hand? My right hand? Okay. I don't know if I got, I told you guys in the, in the beginning of the video, but I'll tell you again now. This is a review that I filmed that you guys are going to see soon. This is OPI Bubble Bath. And it's crazy because OPI Bubble Bath was like one of my favorite colors ever. What are you doing with my wine? Taking a sip. What, you drinking my wine? Are you trying to die? Just taking a sip. <laughs> OPI Bubble Bath is like my hands down favorite nail polish, like ever. And when I found it, do I have the jar? I have it somewhere. Here it is. Check this out. Bubble Bath. 
I was so incredibly happy to find this. So you'll see that review coming up uh, at some, some point. It's filmed. <laughs> I think I got this on walmart.com, girls. Walmart.com, but I'll make sure I have everything uh, in the description box of that video when it's eventually uploaded. But this glitter is life. All right, moving on. Actually, I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna drink some wine for a minute. I'm gonna drink some wine. Drink some wine. I'm gonna drink some wine. Why, you, why don't you have wine? You just wanna sit here and steal mine? No, we, we know what happens. What happens? You throw up? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. What was that? That was four bottles one night? Was it four bottles? Yeah. That was a lot of wine. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Hey, Care it. Bear. What are you putting in Daddy's ear? What are you doing? I think that was just an ear pod. Air pod, ear bud, whatever Weirdo. it was. Oh, that's so good. All right. I'm getting down to the bottom of the barrel. Seafoam, I know one of you guys was asking about seafoam. I'm gonna swatch it for you. I'm excited about this color. I am drinking, hang on, cup is coming in. This is what I'm drinking. It's a red blend called Conundrum. It's my all time favorite red wine. My favorite any wine ever. It's kind of pricey-ish, but it's like the best stuff ever. You should come over. It is, it's dry-ish. It's not sweet. I'm not a big sweet wine person, so it's definitely more on the dry side, but it is so good. If you like, like, uh, Shiraz, if you like Shiraz and it's like a Shiraz slash cab. It's not like totally yeah. cab, but it's not like, I don't know. It's a blend. It's good. My favorite. What was that one that we got that one night? Um, Chateau Lafitte. That was a, it was, it was a little too sweet for you. Yeah, it was super expensive. And I'm like, yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a douche. <laughs> it was like, what, 60 I couldn't just fake it. I had to be like, yeah, no. <laughs> it, was a, it was like a $60 bottle. <laughs> it was, it was a super expensive bottle. No, I like the $25 bottle wine. That's fine. That was the Chromon. Can you swatch me, please? Oh, I need to hit my, I'm hitting the vape. I'm sorry if you guys can hear it, but I need to because, because I'm an addict. All right. Somebody asked up here what, uh, what we were vaping earlier. What am I vaping? It's, uh, just nicotine. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing against everything else, but I can't do that. <laughs> and neither can Brian because that's illegal. What flavor? Um, I love Sour House Lemon. It's my favorite vape juice ever. I've been vaping it like forever. Um... Was doing carousel. Cotton candy. That's what you do right yeah. now. I, I don't know. It stopped being good for me, but I love Sour House Lemon. I get it on, uh, is it Flawless Vape? Flawless Vape. Flawlessvape.com. That's where I get all my vape juice. I love them. Reasonably priced. I think it's like 10 bucks a bottle. Well, that, the more the more bottles you buy, you get discounted pricing per bottle. Yep. Love it. Let me label this real quick. Seafoam Double D 130. Double D 130. I love doing these lives. They're so casual. We just hang out. <laughs> I don't have to be technical. Am I ever really technical though? No. I'll just chat anyway. Y'all, she talks to herself over here, like when she does, when she's doing her uh, videos by herself. I'm so being called out right now. <laughs> you know what? I want a divorce. <laughs> How many times a day do I ask you for a divorce? <laughs> like at least five or six. Mm. Mostly it's when I try to be funny. You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I laugh. I'm a big fat liar. Don't even listen to me. <laughs> oh yeah. That's so pretty. I love it. Black what? Black cherry marshmallow? Oh, <gasps> that sounds delicious. Black cherry marshmallow. You know what I wound up trying to find? Uh, I may have found it. I haven't tried it yet. But because I was on this whole rainbow sherbet kick, you know, with the collab dip powder and Brian snores like a truck. I don't know, a truck that's dying. It's terrible, terrible. That's why I don't sleep at night. Anyway, <laughs> I tried finding, um, cut, not cotton candy, raspberry sherbet flavored vape juice. And I think I found some. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited. 
I'm scared, but I'm excited. It's like a, a whole tank of vape juice is such a commitment. <laughs> I have commitment issues. We'll see how it goes. This sea foam I am living for. What? What are you giggling? Just, You're giggling some, over there. Somebody just said CPAP. Told you. Oh my crap. Told you. I've been trying. He's finally going for a sleep study, which I'm super excited about because the snoring, he literally keeps the whole house awake. It's crazy. Brushy, brushy. I'm living for this color. Look at this, y'all. I'm in. I'm in for the sea foam. Stunning. Ah, this lady says it fixed her husband in three nights. CPAP? Yeah. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting too. <laughs> just keep waiting. Just keep waiting. Sea foam. Oh, this is fun. Screaming green. Don't ask me why I got this color. Y'all know I'll probably never use it. <laughs> okay, those of you that have a CPAP, are they loud? Can you hear them? I'm gonna find out. Well, they're saying no. They're saying no, all right. I hope, I hope y'all aren't lying to me. You would never lie to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to see how this goes. I am pretty freaking terrified about the screen right now. Give me a swatch, baby. Please. Yep. Please. Swatch. Thank you. Swatches are on your side. That's the back side. Screaming green. This looks like, what was, okay. Do you guys remember? I don't know where my 80s babies are, but... You guys remember Ecto Cooler? Ecto Cooler? Do you remember that? that? Yeah. This is what it reminds me. Oh, it was soft and fluffy. Look, it, like, it almost wiggles. Yeah. It reminds me of Ecto Cooler. <laughs> I love it. I don't know if I'll wear it. I gotta check it against my skin tone. It's like tone. pretty 80s green. That's like, it's not. My problem with greens, here's my big issue with greens. I have a green undertone to my skin. And when you wear green, I guess the green undertone, like olive, it like accentuates your oliviness and it makes me look kind of dirty. <laughs> look at this, do you see this? Cat hair. I just opened this and there's cat hair in the lid already. How does this happen? That's my issue with green. I love this color. I just don't know that I would wear it because it's not gonna look good on me. You know who will rock it though? Taylor. Oh, yeah. Taylor will rock this green. Taylor, I don't know if you're watching right now. It's unlikely. But if you are, you're wearing this green. Next time I do her nails, Sunday. She's coming over Sunday and doing her nails. All right. I'm doing, I don't care what she wants. I'm putting the green on her. What's up, memes? What do you, you yeah, it is. What are you doing? I need to hide. You need to hide? Who are you hiding from? Caroline. She's scared. Y'all gotta be. Are you playing hide and seek? Yes. Oh, okay. You're right, screaming green. Oh, that's stainy. Oh, uh, you got a request here to bring Taylor back with some tips. Taylor's not allowed to have tips anymore. I told her no more tips. She's doing really good, like growing her nails out. Although she just told me today that she broke a bunch of them, so I may have to do some repairs. I'm probably gonna do polygel repairs on her because here's the thing with polygel repairs. Again, this is a polygel repair. I have some poly gel over here too, and I did fix my toenail with poly gel. Poly gel is such a pain in the ass to soak off, like it does not want to come off. So I figured that'd be great for nail repairs because they won't soak off if you go to do it. Look at these giggle, giggle freaks. You guys are giggle freaks. She didn't see me, she died. Uh, All right, let's get her top coated. I love it. I should have had her come over. I would have done her nails tonight. All right, Christy Walsh said it. to PM her and she'll tell you what not to use for my CPAP. All right, Christine. Christine? Christine Walsh, right? Chris, Christy Walsh. Christy? I'm gonna DM you. Oh my God, that is so bright. You guys can't see it. 
Nah. Look at the glow! That is a glowy. It's like nuclear. Right? All right, y'all. I got a few. I got a few left. I'm not, I mean, I have a bunch of like neutral colors. I'm not gonna try and swatch all of them. Some of them. I wanna swatch this one, Buttercup. And that's a clear. Did you guys get fairy dust? That's also a clear. I got a bunch of clear. Fuzzy Wuzzy. Oh my God, that's so cute. Look at Fuzzy Wuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy. Wuzzy okay, I'm gonna do Buttercup. Any swatches, baby? Swatch me. Okay, that's swatches. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna do Buttercup. <laughs> Whenever I hear Buttercup now, I think of that movie, Half Baked. Butter stuff. <laughs> I love that movie. I G B double D one eighty four. Butter stuff. My drawstring. Your what now? My drawstring. That's Did it break? Your, no, that's your hair. Is it? Why does it? My hair wind up everywhere. <laughs> you broke it. Unbelievable. Oh, I got a question for you guys. I got a bunch of you watching right now. So, okay. So my channel has always been just nails. That's it. I don't do anything else on my channel. I don't focus on anything else on my channel. It's just nails. That is it. But I have a lot of you guys asking me to do like a face reveal. And while I don't really care, I mean, I will, I just, I don't, I don't want to take the focus off of what my channel is and that's just nails. Like my face has nothing to do with anything, but if that's something you guys really want me to do, then I might, I'm going to do it. I mean, I have a public Facebook page. I mean, it's not like Marla Chris Facebook page. I mean, it is, but it's like my private Facebook page, you know, but it's searchable. If you guys want to check it out, you can. Uh, I don't accept friend requests just because it is my private page, like my family and friends and stuff. So everything nail related is on my Instagram. But you can you can snoop it if you want. I don't care. Okay, uh, Jenny uh, says, ask about chrome powders and where she can find some, please. Chrome powders, there are millions of places to find chrome powders. Pretty much every dip company makes chrome powders. But I also get them a lot on Amazon, AliExpress. You can pretty much find them anywhere. What I was the one that what? you used. It was Rebel. Rebel. I love the Rebel Chromes. I I want to get the Sparkle Chromes. I haven't tried them yet, but I heard they're excellent. Chromes are fun. Chromes are kind of a pain. If you didn't see my Chrome video, go check out my Chrome nail video. Um, it was pretty. Did I? It was uploaded, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. Where's my calendar? Is my calendar over there? I don't see my calendar's over there. I have all my uploads over there. What, what, what am I looking for? My calendar. Right there. It's literally right there. What? What am I? Okay. There, there's no calendar. <laughs> it's over there. I don't know if I did my Chrome video yet. I did. I did my, I must have done my Chrome video. Anyway, watch the Chrome video. Um, it's pretty easy. You just gotta be like super careful. I'm gonna top coat you. Maybe I'll do like a little video on um, like Instagram. Are you guys on Instagram? I know a bunch of you are on Instagram, but I don't think all of you are on Instagram. My calendar is literally right there. Right here? It's, not, it's somewhere on that table right there. Thirty. All right. Oh, that was thirty. Line. Start. Maybe if you move stuff, because it's underneath a couple of things. There, there's nothing for it to be. Oh underneath. Lord. Okay. No this is like every man's problem. You tell them to get you something, they have no idea where, you're, where it is. Planner book, right? That was the seafoam. Oh my God, that's so pretty. I love seafoam. And then we did, that's the screaming green. Is it under there? Did you find it? I found it. I told you it was over there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my calendar. Three feet away from where you were pointing. Do you guys want to snoop my calendar a little bit? You want to peep? Yeah, you guys saw my rebel chrome. Okay. Now I'm like way behind myself. Peep, 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 peep. 
I got a lot of reviews coming up. They're saying yes. They you want to peep my calendar? They want to peep the planner. All right, peep the planner. Here's my planner. This was this week. Here, see, YouTube Live, 9 p.m. Tomorrow, I've got Light in the Box review. That's going to be another swatch party. That's all gel products from Light in the Box. They're kind of like an AliExpress. Um, Sunday is the Sparkle & Co. sub bag video. I love that, Manny. Love that, Manny. It's a good one. And next week, there's the Dip Petty. Uh -huh. a new company I'm reviewing here, Adrata Dips. That was highly requested. Glitter & Grace, another one highly requested. And then Poly Gel is coming up. I have everything already pre-planned pre already. I'm not gonna show you too much, but oh yeah, no by July, just so you guys know, that's something that I'm gonna be doing. Um, I have spent a lot of money and bought a lot of stuff over the last couple of months, and I'm to a point where I'm like, I'm done just buying stuff. So I'm gonna do a no by July where the entire month of July, I'm going to just shop my own stash and focus more on like techniques and using products in different ways and all that kind of stuff. So, and more paws and claws. Absolutely, I can't wait to do more paws and claws. If you guys have not seen my paws and claws videos, you can search them on my YouTube channel. Um, paws and claws is pretty much, I just read your stories, your um, adoption stories. This was the buttercup. And I do a Manny that's just something that I feel like doing, not for any reason. And I just read you guys' stories and I love to hear them, I love to share them. So if you have stories, shoot them to my Marla Cross Paws and Claws at Gmail, and I will read them. I will love to share. I put on pictures and videos, whatever you guys want. I'm going to do two more colors. Where's the other one? Where's Fuzzy Wuzzy? I lost Fuzzy Wuzzy. I don't care. They can giggle. They're fine. They're just girls. Fuzzy Wuzzy. I do have my 4th of July mani all planned out. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's going to be good. Going to be good. I don't, you know, with the whole 4th of July thing, I don't know if anyone else can relate, but I love red, white, and blue individually. I don't like them together. I'm so weird, but I just don't. So I'm, I'm doing like kind of, it's definitely going to scream 4th of July, but it's going to be a little non-traditional. Monica is asking if you can please do a 4th of July Manny with eye gel, electric blue, and candy apple. It'll be one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why I have attitude against putting like those colors together. I just don't think they go. And I will get tired of seeing that on my nails for any amount of time. Not like I keep nails on for any amount of time, but you know. Hey, Alana! Oh my god, yay! I'm so happy you're here. Alana's from... Australia. Oh, nice. How are things tomorrow? <laughs> Tell me what my future looks like. <laughs> oh, I'm still going to swatch. I'm doing this one and one more, and then I'm going to call it. So I have been monopolizing y'all for a really, really long time. I don't know, what time is it, babe? 10.50. Shut your face. We've been two hours? I told you this is going to be a long live. Uh, Christy's asking if you can swatch without a light. Without a light. Like without a. Light? Oh, I mean, I think she's talking about my LED UV. Oh. Yes, ma'am, you certainly can swatch without using gel products. I just use gel because I feel like it's quicker. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It's just my thing. You can certainly swatch with dip liquids, and then you don't need your LED UV at all. Um, I just like using gel products. No muss, no fuss. I know that it's dry when it's done curing, so that's what I do. Did you guys all get in on the whole, you know, 10K giveaway stuff? Does anyone have questions about it? I know some of you guys came in late. Literally is a giant box of my favorite stuff and it's tremendous. Huge. All you gotta do is be subscribed, which y'all already are. Uh, like the video and comment on the video somewhere. So my random comment picker can pick your comment. And one person's gonna win a menagerie of stuff. There's a LED UV gel lamp. There's a, um, a nail drill that I will be demoing in a future video coming up. 
Uh, there's all sorts of dip products, all sorts of liquids, candy skincare, lots of stuff with candy skincare. There's a ton of stuff, huge. So definitely enter the 10K. I can't believe we're at 10K. I really can't. I, you know what? I didn't even know. One of my subscribers, one of my, one of my favorite people, she happened to DM me at, I don't even know what time it was. It's probably like one o'clock in the morning. So she DMs me and tells me that I hit 10K. And I'm like, what? No, <laughs> that can't be right. And I was like, holy crap, how did this even happen? I didn't think that 10 people would want to listen to me babble on and on and do nails mediocrely. <laughs> Much less like 10,000 of you guys. That's insane. Insane. You got your hot mess, Marla? Oh my God, do you love it? I'm going to, you know what? In my description box, I have all my info on uh, my Instagram and all my all my emails, everything is in the description box. Uh, as soon as I publish this video, as soon as the live is over, I will update the description box. It may take me a few days <laughs> to get everything in here, but I promise I will get it done. Thank you guys so much. Man, you guys, how, what languages do I know? I know English. <laughs> you have some I, I do speak a little bit of Spanish, um, but that's about my extent. I, I speak uh, sarcasm fluently if that's considered a language. <laughs> that's it. Have I tried eye gel, gel polishes? I love you, Katie. I just got, I don't know, how many, 40? A lot. I just, in the haul that I did, I did, I have 40, I think, gel. It was the gel and lacquer. This is the fuzzy wuzzy. So pretty. I love it. Um, so I don't know, would you guys want me to swatch all the gels? I can. Um, I would love for you guys to comment when it's published, if possible, because I'm not sure if the comments from the live are going to be in the comment section. I hope they are. Um, just comment the best way to get a hold of you, and that way I can actually reach out to you guys. People have been like creating fake accounts to get like giveaway prizes. I would never want to have that happen and have you guys miss out. So let me reach out to you if that's okay, and I'll make sure that you guys. Double D, 245. I'll make sure to get stuff out to you. Two, four, five. That's a five, not an S. All right, I got one more, one more. That's Buttercup, I already did that one. Beep, beep, beep. All right, let's see. Oh, I love this one. You guys know I'm a sucker for the blues. The giveaway is gonna go for three days. Three days. I usually put these things on for a week, but I'm too excited. <laughs> I love my eye gel file. I will show it to you guys real quick. If I can, without knocking stuff over. Can you hold my wine, baby? Yeah. I don't wanna break a glass. Okay. This is my eye gel file. My new baby. And this is the hand piece. I love it to pieces. I really, really do. It's so gorgeous. Has the forward and the reverse on it. This is the speed on it. Usually I'm here when I'm doing finish filing, about 10. And then when I'm doing prep with my little ball bit, I'm at about a six or a seven, and that's where I live. I go a little bit slower with my non-dominant hand because I'm just, you know, <laughs> kind of useless with it. Uh, but that's, that's the file and I love it. I love, love, love it. I know it's a little bit of an investment, but if it's something that you know you're gonna use for a good long while and you can afford it, just freaking do it because it's such a good file. All right, Caribbean C, I, G, B, double D, 71. I just got Sharpie all over myself. I was doing so good this entire time, and now I have a Sharpie dot. Uh, this is gonna live here for like the next good. two weeks. That's Unbelievable. Caribbean Z. Janetti Latrell says, did you purchase their double D color swatches? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I did not purchase the swatches. Uh, I thought about it, but I, I figured I might want to, my leopard, I still have my leopard print file. I still have it. It's not my back. Are you drinking my wine? That's what I get for giving it to you. Give me yeah. that. 
Uh, I still have my, my leopard print file. It's gonna be my backup file. It's not as powerful as this guy, as the iGel. The Melody of Susie is probably closest to it. They're, um, they're portable. But I find that the iGel one is just really torquey to the point where I've had some people ask me about this. So when you're e-filing with the iGel file, it almost seems like it's skipping or pulsating, but what it's doing is when you put pressure on your nail, like when you're filing, it increases the torque. And then when you don't put pressure, if you take the file off your nail, it lowers the torque. So it does a really good job of not losing strength when you're using it, which I absolutely love. Enter the giveaway. Comment down below when the video is published. The best way to get a hold of you, be subscribed, like the video. That is all you have to do to be entered in the giveaway. I'm gonna have all the giveaway details in the description box of this video once it's published. Uh, again, it may take me a little bit just to get everything done, um, but I will have everything listed for you so you can definitely check it all out. I'm sorry I enabled you. <laughs> you say thank you, I apologize because I don't know, I feel like I'm an enabler, but you know, it's something that I love. Everyone deserves self-care. And if this is a little something that you can do for yourself once a week, once every two weeks, however you know often you can do it, that's something you can do for yourself to give, you know, just do something sweet because you deserve it. We all deserve it. Me, I, I treat myself every like three days, <laughs> but that's because I have to. And I never match. See, you will see these videos coming. I promise both of them are scheduled to upload both of them. These are stickers, by the way. These are stickers, dude. Stickers. So cute. All right, this Caribbean blue is so stinking gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm telling you, this blue, you guys know that I'm in love with blues. Blue is my jam. What kind of glitter did I get in here? Oh my God. I have Sharpie every, I'm a mess. This is why I'm hot mess Marley, y'all. All right. Sacrificing. I'm sacrificing. Yay. This is Caribbean blue. Caribbean sea. My bad. Caribbean sea. Alcohol for the. Oh, you know what? I knew that trick. Didn't I tell you that trick with the alcohol? Before Brian and I started like really seriously dating, he had his kids over for Christmas. It was like the day after we met. And Caroline had gotten Sharpie like all over his couch. And he texted me because like, I know anything. And he's like, how do I get Sharpie off a couch? And I just kind of Googled. <laughs> and I'm like, apparently alcohol gets Sharpie off of couches. And it worked. And I saved the day. <laughs> you did. You did. All right. Top coat. Get this baby in the oven. And then I'm gonna show you all the swatches real quick. All right, got another question here. It says, do you do ever do anyone else's nails? Um, I do nails for my daughters and I do my, uh, nails for my stepdaughters or as I would call them, my bonus daughters. I do my son's nails, but not like the way I do my nails. I just give him like a general manly manicure. Uh, I used to do Brian's nails, but uh, I don't anymore. No. <laughs> because he continues to bite his nails, and it drives me insane, so I'm punishing him. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I do my girlfriend, my, one of my girlfriend's nails here and there when she has the time. She's in medical school right now, so she can't really have her nails done very often. She, she's just taking her LNN tonight. Oh, my gosh, it's at 1030. She's taking her test right now. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a terrible friend because I didn't, like, say good luck or anything. Now, I, now I feel bad. Oh my, I hope she remembered. Sarah, if you were watching, <laughs> I hope you took your test. All right, I'm gonna show you all these swatches. Finish caring. We did a lot of work tonight, y'all. I, You know what, I've seen that too. I've seen a lot of people do swatches with monomer and that's fine because it's acrylic, but I really wanted to do them as dips so you can see how they would apply you know, in, the, in, in dip form. So I'm gonna go through them just quickly for you guys. This one, Double D 76. Anita wants to know if you'll adopt a grandma. I would love to adopt a grandma, because I don't have any. 
I need a grandma. All my grandparents passed away when I was super little, so I would love a grandma. 41. I believe that was the Bloody Mary. Laser Lemon, double D67. That's the French White, DP2. Do I need to adopt a sister? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll just take all y'all. <laughs> Come on out. This is, what was this? The blue, electric blue? Double D69, electric. I'm gonna put my, there we go. Look at my Sharpie fingers. Man, I'm a mess. What number was that one? 69. <laughs> you just want me to say that number over and over again, don't you? Double D69. <laughs> Double D130. Priscilla is my new sister. It's official. Double D68. This was that electric green or slime green or screaming green. That's what it was. Ecto cooler is what I want to call it. Do you guys want me to do a, uh, whatchamacallit, gel polish swatch too? Of the, um, whatchamacallits, the eye gel gel polishes? This is Buttercup, I think. Because I'll do it. Ugh, the Dip Petty, I mean, it's okay. The Dip Petty, I'll give you a teaser real quick. This was 245. The Dip Petty is pretty much me talking everybody out of ever doing a Dip Petty. <laughs> it's pretty much what it is. DP150, this was like the Chrome on, I think. If you guys want me to do another live swatching with the gels, I'm in. I am in. Would you guys want me to do like a monthly swatching or a monthly live or something like that? I'll do it. Wendy says yes, swatch the gel, the gel polish. You got it. I'm in. But y'all have to come and y'all have to bring wine or some sort of cocktail. And they all say yes. Yay! You guys are awesome. You could Double D thirteen. Just plan, you know, a weekend where you guys all show up in one location. Oh, you know what? I don't know if that's happening this year. Okay, so I had this idea. I had this crazy, crazy idea. So in Orlando, is it Orlando? I think it's Orlando. Down here in Orlando, which is a little bit north of me in the um, convention center, they have this big beauty convention. It's like three days and it's all nail stuff. So I was gonna try and get like a bunch of people together to go, but I don't think that's happening. It probably would have already happened. I think it was like late May, early June. I'm so bummed because I really wanted to go. Well, it didn't happen this year. Monthly Q&A. I would love to do a monthly q and I I don't know if it's, it feels like too much. Like things don't change that much for me. <laughs> I'm pretty boring. Maybe a quarterly q and I I could do monthly, I don't care. I like doing lives with you guys. Double D32. Then what color was this? Ah, I'm so bad with names. I'm bad with numbers too. That's why I write everything down. But I would love to. I want to do more lives. I like it. Maybe when I hit 100,000, that's optimistic. Uh, 100,000, I'll do a meet and greet. How about that? Beep, 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 beep. Yes, candy apple, that's what it was. Man, see, this is why I keep my people around. They're so efficient. School is going outstanding. I, you guys saw I took my midterms. Midterms, regret. oh, I didn't cure this one. <gasps> what happened to you? I'll fix, I'll fix. Uh, I took my midterms. I did well in my midterms. I submitted all my writing assignments. I don't have grades back yet, but I think I did okay. Got two finals, and then summer session A will be over, and I'll start summer session B, <laughs> which is two new classes. I like it, though. Uh, it's kind of just stuff that I like and stuff that I'm into, so it's good for me. Double D71. This is so pretty. I love this. This is Caribbean Sea, I think. So gorgeous. <laughs> Panama City, ah, uh, that is where this guy was born. <laughs> Panama City. <laughs> I like PCB. That place was fun. Two twenty two. Conquer my fear. See, that's that's exactly what this tattoo means. Actually, I'll tell you the backstory about this tattoo. So Brian has a motorcycle. He has a Harley, and I am terrified of motorcycles for the most part because I've had a few of my good friends pass away on bikes um, due to a couple of different things. Drunk driving, they were drunk driving, just situations happen. 
and I've been paranoid about bikes for a long time. So Brian and I took a road trip, a road trip on a motorcycle all the way up through like Tennessee, South Carolina. South Carolina. North Carolina yeah, Tennessee. we were all over the place. And he really wanted to do Tale of the Dragon, which is like, in my opinion, a death trap. And I was so scared. I didn't want to do it. And finally, I'm like, you know what? F it. You only live once. And I'm not, I'm not a chicken. So I'm just going to go and do it. And I did it. And then shortly after we went and did it, Brian's like, let's go get tattoos. So I got my dragon tattoo for the Tale of a Dragon as a reminder to never be afraid because it's really not that scary. Nothing could ever be that scary. If I survived Tale of the Dragon, I think I'm okay. How many tattoos do you have? How many, uh, good question. How many do I have? One, two, well, this one's like the big one. I have like a really big half sleeve situation happening here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have six. Six tattoos. I want another one. Yeah. I want to do something on this forearm. I think I want to do like my cat's paw prints going up my arm. Maybe. Do it. In watercolor. That's the plan. Do it. Are you done? Much better. I almost ruined the pink, but I saved the day. Did I get purple? I thought I did. I might, I think I have some in my other, my other haul. I'll make sure I leave. If you guys are, Insta's like the best place for me to keep you updated because I put pictures of a lot of stuff up there, but I'll keep you posted. I do have some purple in my other haul that I did. I'm not a purple person. I don't wear any purple and I don't know. Did you say purple paw? Purple what? Did you say purple paw? Purple pe pur now I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> purple people eater? What is, what's happening? I'm not a purple person. I have a, li a lilac or like a, a lavender. Or I don't know. Christy said, come to Georgia. We'll sell you a Honda. Sorry. We're Toyota people. <laughs> we are a Toyota family. <laughs> <laughs> IG is easy. It's so easy. All you have to do is like create your account and you're in. Follow me. Again, everything is in my description box or it will be at some point. What does my description box even look like on these live videos? Does it even exist? I don't know. <laughs> Christy said, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, don't leave me. <laughs> oh, I have nothing else to swatch. What do we do now? Just sit? Want to just head and hang out? Yeah. Drink some wine? Should we go through the giveaway one more time? Well, you can. What questions they got? What? I do. I have any? Have you given your giveaway instructions? I did. I did. The, uh, Dude, the video? I did. Okay. Where's my? Oh, is it gonna be an avalanche of dip powder? Okay. Look at all these questions. All right, what's next? I talked about my first dip experience. Oh, that's a good question. How do I do my manis or how do I come up with my mani ideas and what inspires me? So, I don't know. <laughs> I get inspired by a lot of things. I get inspired by like seasons or by things I see out in nature or, you know, certain things that my girls say or do or watch. Uh, I don't know. I get, well, sometimes from other YouTubers. You know, I've definitely done a lot of videos where I've used techniques or designs or color schemes that someone else has done. I just like to put my own little, you know, spin on it or twist or whatever. I don't really pre-plan my stuff. I mean, I definitely, I schedule out what I'm doing, but I don't usually know exactly how I'm doing stuff until... I do it. Oh, 11-11. Did I miss it? Is it 11-11? Darn it, I missed my wish. Man, y'all are fired. Can't believe no one told me. <laughs> do I match the colors on the Ajo website? Um, you know what? That's a good question. The colors on the Ajo website are the colors like, this is all you see on the Ajo website. They don't show you an actual swatch, so it's kind of weird. PR manager. Do you want to be my PR manager? <laughs> that means I have to pay him. That's not happening. Uh, yeah, so these are the colors on the website. Um, so I don't know if they, I'll have to compare them. I have photos of all the iGel swatches, so I'll have to do a comparison for you guys. I can't access them because I'm filming on my phone, but thanks, Kayla. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what I have coming up too? I don't know if a lot of you guys participate in Pride. Um, but I have a pride mani coming up. That was so much fun to do. I did, it's, it's kind of like a subscriber picks my mani type situation, which I love to do by the way. If you guys are on Instagram 
and you DM me, once in a blue moon, I'll have like a complete creative block and I'll be like, um, can you pick my Manny? Cause I don't know what I'm doing. So it was definitely a subscriber who picks my Manny. It's a tri-colored ombre with glitter everywhere. It was so much fun. That came out awesome. So that's coming up soon. I have a ton of fun stuff coming. Do you, okay, you guys have to comment or DM me or email me. I don't even care how you communicate with me, but definitely let me know if you have any video requests coming up because uh, I would love to do them. Give me something to do. Sometimes I need other ideas. Vaping Brian. Is it that loud? It's very loud. I'm going over here. No, leave. <laughs> Don't leave me. <laughs> Christina, you can watch it as soon as it's done. I'm gonna cut it off here in a little bit because I'm about to say, Christy, I have to pee. <laughs> I've been sitting here for like two hours. It's time to pee. All right, y'all. Uh, my favorite, what? My favorite, I don't know what that means. My favorite column? My favorite color? I don't know. Favorite comedy? I don't know what that means. I don't know. Maybe, it's, uh, maybe I've had too much wine, I don't know. Thank you guys so much. It is definitely the alcohol. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go drink another bottle of wine and uh, pass the heck out. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I love you all to pieces. I hope you had fun. I will see you guys. You know what? This is gonna be a six day upload. So I have videos for you tomorrow and Sunday and Monday. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping the party. Thanks so much, guys. I love you so much. Have a good rest of your night. I will see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.